Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Muhammad Umar Salim, consultant pulmonologist. One of my uh, viewer doctor has sent me a question to solve. So the question will appear on your screen now. A 35 years of aged housekeeping staff presented with complaints of fever, cough, weight loss of 5 kg in last 3 months and hemoptysis on and off for last 1 week. He has never smoked but there was past medical history of pulmonary tuberculosis. On examination, he was thin, lean, with pulse of 82 beats per minute. Saturation was 96% on Romare. Bronchial breath sounds and crackles were audible at the left upper part of the chest on auscultation. Chest X-ray showed left upper zone cavitation with nodular infiltrates and fibrocystic changes. His sputum AFP smear came out to be positive with numerous acid fast bacilli but gene expert was negative. CBC showed hemoglobin 13 gram per deciliter, WBC 14, neutrophils were 35% and lymphocytes 65%. HIV was negative. A part of the question is what is the most likely diagnosis? What is the criteria for diagnosing this condition? This is part B. Part C is what are the indications for, for, uh, for its treatment and what is the duration of treatment of this condition is part D. So, as you know that uh, um, the scenario starts from respiratory symptoms and the issue is after the chest x-ray, the issue is sputum AFB smear is positive. So whenever you see sputum AFB smear positive, so you have to think of two things. Either it is mycobacterium tuberculosis or non-mycobacterium tuberculosis. They have mentioned that gene expert is negative so uh, I will tell you three uh, things to keep in the mind if sputum AFB smear is positive as well as gene expert is positive so your diagnosis should be mycobacterium tuberculosis because gene expert is sensitive it is specific to the um, uh, acid fast bacilli of mycobacterium tuberculosis okay so if AFB smear and gene expert are positive it is mycobacterium tuberculosis if AFB smear is positive but gene expert is negative so it means it is non tuberculous mycobacterium in this scenario this is non mycobacterium tuberculosis or mycobacterium other than tuberculosis okay and the third thing is if AFB smear is negative gene expert is negative but you have to wait for the AFB culture to see which organism is present in the sputum. It can be uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis or it can be non-mycobacterium tuberculosis. So in this scenario, it is non-mycobacterium tuberculosis. Our diagnosis would be, part A would be my non-mycobacterium tuberculosis, okay. Part B will start as um, the criteria. The criteria, uh, I will read uh, for you. Pulmonary symptoms, nodular or cavitary opacities on chest radiograph in HRCT shows multifocal bronchiectasis with multiple small nodules. This is clinical, clinical and HRCT findings. Appropriate exclusion of other diagnosis. Okay, this is this was clinical and both should be present in the in the patient to diagnose as non tuberculous mycobacterium. And micro microbiological uh, diagnosis would be uh, the patient should have positive culture results from at least two separate expectorated sputum samples if the results are non-diagnostic consider repeat sputum AFB smears and cultures or positive culture results from at least one bronchoagular lavage or bronchial washing you know the the difference between bronchial washing and lavage in bronchial lavage the whole of the bronchus is lavage and then all the uh, fluid which has been thrown into in, in the bronchus has been uh, withdrawn and lavage has been done for, for the whole bronchi in bronchial washing some part of the bronchus is washed so this is the difference and uh, transbronchial or other lung bio biopsy with mycobacterium histopathological features the histopathological features of mycobacterium are granulomatous inflammation or AFB can be present in the tissue and positive culture for non mycobacterium tuberculosis or biopsy showing mycobacterial histopathological features granulomatous inflammation or AFB and one or more of the sputum or bronchial washings that are culture positive for 
non mycobacterium tuberculosis okay part c would be uh, what are the indications of treatment the indications would uh, would be one would be severity of non mycobacterium tuberculosis pulmonary disease it means uh, there is um, cavitary lesions fibrocystic lesions are present uh, radiologically or clinically patient has weight loss like in this patient the risk of progressive non tuberculous mycobacterium tuberculosis pulmonary disease uh, the presence of comorbidity and the goals of treatment for example the patient can have hypertension ischemic heart disease most mostly we are uh, concerned with the diabetes mellitus in diabetes mellitus the patient is in immunocompromised state and diabetes mellitus they are more prone to the uh, these uh, type of uh, infections uh, it requires a period of assessment like symptoms serological change mycobacterium culture to inform uh, the non tuberculous mycobacterium treatment decisions part d would be the treatment should continue for a minimum of 12 months after culture conversion okay i hope you understand this question so this was the solution of uh, the the question given by the viewer doctor i hope you understand thank you so much for more solved cases get this book in nominal price from local medical bookshop or online nationally and internationally from links below